Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mike here again. Uh, we're giving you guys a follow-up video to the unboxing I did of the uh, Accelero Extreme Plus VGA coolers. Um, so as I said, I was going to be re replacing the uh, stock coolers on my uh, EVGA GTX 570s. And uh, I just wanted to do a uh, comparison video for you guys. Uh, over here, I've got... Uh, one of the coolers already installed on my 570 and uh, before I install the other one I want to do uh, do like a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, the temperatures on the stock card and the temperatures uh, with the uh, new cooler on there so uh, that way you guys could uh, see how it does and you know maybe if you guys are researching this this will give you uh, an idea of the benefits you would get Anyway, so I'm going to cut away here. I'm going to pop the reference 570 in the system first. Uh, show you guys load and idle temperatures on that one. And then I'll swap it out for uh, the new one. And uh, do the same, give you load and idle temperatures on this one. So, be right back. Okay now, uh, we've been uh, up and running for quite a while now. Uh, temps have uh, leveled out like I think they're supposed to. Uh, sitting at uh, 45 degrees Celsius, 46, 45, back and forth. Um, so yeah, those are our idle temps on the reference 570. And uh, yes, just so you know, I'm going to keep the door off for this entire test on the reference card and the card with the new cooler. So um, uh, you can expect higher temps with the door on. Once I get the cards in SLI with both coolers, I'll do an extreme burn-in test with both cards. Anyway, so I'm going to pull up heaven here. And uh, I'm going to let this run a few times. Just on, I'm not really concerned about the score. I'm just going to open it up and run it. I'm not going to change anything like tessellation or anti-aliasing or anything like that. I'm just going to run it so it can stress the card because I do find that this program will bring out the max temps on... Uh, any card. Anyway, so I'm going to let that run four or five times and I'll come back and show you guys max temps. And just so you know again, there is an overclock on the card, 825 megahertz. Alright All right then, so we uh been running the Heaven Benchmark a few times on the reference 570. I'm going to exit out of Heaven Benchmark here and show you guys uh, the temperatures we maxed out at. So, on a reference, 570, if I can get that to, here, I'll come over here to hardware monitor, uh, 85 degrees, and slowly starting to cool back down. All right, so I'm going to cut away here, throw in the uh, 570 with the uh, Accelero Extreme Plus on it, and uh, see how the temperatures do on this. So here we are up and running with the uh, 570 with the uh, Accelero Extreme Plus on it. As you can see it's a three slot cooler now. Definitely a lot longer and a lot wider. But uh, we've been up and running here for quite a while now so idle temps have stabilized and we're sitting at 34 degrees Celsius. So that's a little over 10 degrees difference on idle than a reference cooler and uh, same thing gonna leave the door off the case pull up having benchmark run it a few times and uh, try and get this thing to reach its highest temperatures uh, we'll come back when that's all wrapped up well here we are again been running the heaven benchmark on the 570 with the accelero extreme plus uh, running it over and over and over again, trying to get those max temps out of this thing so, we, so I can get an idea of how it's going to do. And so let's go ahead and exit out of here and see what we've got. <clears throat> and we, let's see. And just as, just as the reference card was, this is overclocked too at 825 megahertz on the core. And max temps, 53 degrees. 
There we go, our hardware monitor. 53 degrees, so that is over 30 degrees, 32 degrees cooler than the reference 570. So to me, this thing is doing an excellent job. That's exactly what I wanted to see from these coolers. Um, I'm hoping to push the overclock on these cards. Uh, I couldn't get them above 825 on the reference coolers because they would overheat and the system would blue screen. So hopefully with these better temps um, I should be able to get more out of them. But uh, we'll see. i uh, got to get that other one installed and uh, once I get it up and running in SLI um, I'll come back with another video on the temps of both cards running. So there's something else I also wanted to do during this comparison. Uh, not only comparing temperatures but comparing the uh, acoustics of the cards. I'm going to let you guys hear the max fan noise on this reference card. Um, I will say when they're idling, yeah of course you can't hear them but uh, full speed on the fans it's, it's pretty loud. Put that back on auto, let it go back down. Anyway, we'll do the same thing for the uh, Accelero Extreme Plus so you guys can get an idea of how quiet it is, too. Okay, like I said, uh, also besides comparing temperatures between this cooler and the reference cooler, I wanted to also compare uh, acoustics. Um, I've already put the fans on this cooler at max speed. And, uh, well, here, you can hear it for yourself. I, <laughs> I hear the case fans more, more than I do the, the fans on the cooler. So that's, that's, uh, amazing to me. Uh, much better temps and uh, super, super quiet.